Whereas one of council, one of council administration mandate. Whereas, after the, con after the Concerned Citizens Coalition held a recent public meeting in Cornwall on health care concerns, the following motion received unanimous consent. That the future use of 510 Second Street East, the former Cornwall General Hospital, be used for the common good and social benefit of the community at large, with a focus on issues that affect health care services, such as potential long-term care and or access <coughs> and restorative beds, medical clinics, doctor's offices, and any other related services that would benefit the citizens of Cornwall and surrounding communities. We are asking the Minister of Health for a, lo for a local task force to be formed with representation from the Minister of Health, City of Cornwall, the counties and other potential stakeholders such as QHB, LHIN, NPT McDonald, and three members of our coalition. The Minister has stated publicly that community consultations play an important role when deciding the future of hospital sites. If the community has any alternate proposal, we would encourage them to bring that to the hospital board. Following the direction of the Minister of Health, the task of this, in this group would be to bring forward an alternative proposal within 60 days of being held. Now, therefore, the Concerned Citizens Coalition requests Mayor and Council support their request and that a letter be sent to the Health Minister indicating that the Mayor and Council fully supports the Concerned Citizens Coalition request along with a copy of the motion passed and that a letter be sent to the following following for their support and request that they send a letter of support for the motion to the Minister of Health, MPP Jim McDonald, SDG County Council and Local Municipal Councils and SDG, EOHU board members and LIHN. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Mr. Mayor, this motion is not exactly my motion I can't take credit for. I think it's the, the uh, coalition of people who had a number of people in the community who have concerns. Uh, I think it's, uh, they're requesting council just to support uh, the motion, so the, the Ministry of Health can uh, uh, get the task force in place to review uh, basically um, the needs for long-term care beds or other, uh, other uh, uh, health services that they uh, mentioned. And a feasibility study whether or not the general hospital uh, would be the place for a variety of uh, care services and others. I think it's important that, you know, we, as you know, we tried through the LIN. Uh, we've it's nine months through the LIN, and they come back to West Wisconsin. That's not their job. Uh, their mandate is to fund the programs. I accept that. And I think the only way we're going to get a task force in place is to have the, the Minister of Health have a representative come down and make it happen. And I think, Mr. Mayor, it's important that these the players also be involved in this. And I think some of the concerns we have to look at, and I've asked for information, I think all councillors have, have received it, the average age of tenants in our senior buildings. We have 1,047 senior buildings. The average age is 70, 70 years old. That's telling me in the next five years, we're going to need more room. And that's just the kind of study that the task force could bring forward to say yes or no. Or, but I don't think that there should be a big panic out there to, to tie up, feeling that we're tying up the hospital for any length of time. If this letter is sent out tomorrow and the Minister of Health decides it, no. Because as we know, the Minister of Health has to approve the sale of, it, of the, the facility to start with. And that hasn't been done yet. And I think it's important that she says yes or no, and, and uh, the bottom line is that's all the, the, the community is requesting, and I think it's, it's not unfair to ask the council to support the, their uh, request to have the minister set up a task force. Mr. Mayor, as you know, with the land, you were the one that, uh, on the second one, moved it, and uh, I seconded it, that we tell uh, Chantal the clerk in the land, we want to see her in January. I think it's important that we do that, and I, I hope that the rest of the council understand that all of the community is asking is to have the ministry set up a task force and then we can lay everything down to rest after and go on from there and continue on. So, uh, Mr. Mayor, I hope that uh, I have this, the support of council because these people have worked very hard. This is a non-paid, we're talking non-paid committees. These are concerned citizens for our future. And I think that's our job to be concerned also. So we should be able to at least uh, support them to have the task force put into place to see whether or not the need's there. Thank you. Just to uh, 
Sure, I mean, I know I've seen it in print media also that uh, the name of Ms. LeClaire has come up, but if I'm not mistaken, the motion table by Councillor Clement made reference to the representative from the Ministry of Long Term Care. That's totally different, Mr. Mayor. That's, yeah. I mean, you're, 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 you're bringing in, no, I don't no, think you should no, be no, 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 voting on no, one or voting on no, the other. I'm not mixing no. anything up. I just want to be clear that, uh, well, let me ask for this presentation. The implication of Chant uh, Chantal Leclerc is what in terms of the... Is it what? Was Chantal Leclerc is in, involved in what is it? She's, a, she's in charge of the Lynn, Mr. I think you know that. She's the buffer between the problems. Do you want her or do you not want her? Well, I think, I, well, no, well, what I'm saying is you got to sit at the table. Okay. Every, the Minister of Health can sit everybody at the table without having somebody saying they don't want to be there because they do the funding. I understand. Okay. 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 So, appreciate that clarification. Okay. Okay. Councilor Clark. I'm oh, sorry, Councilor Chappell. <coughs> Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Through you, um, I uh, I second this motion uh, for Councillor Rubet because I think that it's an, it's very important in our community, and I think that the one thing that's really important is that uh, our residents know that we're listening. And I think that sometimes, you know, in the grand scheme of things out there, our residents don't uh, realize that we do listen, and uh, unfortunately, sometimes we don't listen all the time, and and that's a trial and error on our part. Um, I think that this would just encourage information <coughs> sessions. This would just uh, show this uh, concerned citizens that uh, we do show our support behind this. This is no financial implication to the city of Cornwall. Um, and you know, when we look at the Cornwall Community Hospital or the former General Hospital, these are connections and and cornerstones in our community that many people have. Uh, have helped build and are now con new generations are helping build the new improved community uh, hospital and uh, like I said at the last meeting I think that the uh, new name that we're going by which is uh, the, instead of the former Hotel Duke the former General is the community uh, community hospital I think that it's important that we make sure that the community is involved, is involved all the way it may be that the players come to the table and say that, you know, we're not interested in doing this, but at least, you know, we've done due process around this table and we've advocated for the residents of Cornwall, and I believe that that's what we're elected to do. Thank you. Well, thank you, Worship. Uh, um, <clears throat> this particular motion, I think, uh, you know, we talk about the MPP, Mr. McDonnell, uh, SCG County Council, it's not Sir Alton, and the Lynn. I think one of the people that should be on this because it is a, a regional effort that we should be making that I think the more agencies and representatives we have the better. I think the MPP for, for Glengarry, Mr. Grant Crack, right. one of the part of this area. That's on this because he is part of this area. So, so maybe you could add it. Could it? Uh, I don't know if that means a motion in the motion to add the uh, MPP Grant Crack to this list or is it just a uh, part of the area? Councillor Grant seeking the floor? Yeah, I, don't think, I, didn't, I don't think it requires a... Oh, no, Councillor Gardner's followed by Councillor Grant. Well, I, I'm really going to support this because two and a half years ago, or so, I went out to Gianna and got the what, hundreds of names on a petition to, for CCAC lives to look at bringing more long-term care, care beds into this community. Unfortunately, some of the answers I got back were that at the municipality, we had more beds than what we needed uh, for a household. And I was really disappointed in that because the end, when I went out and got information, CCAC sent me an email that said that we would have 800 people of SPG and Prescott on a waiting list for a bed. One of you, some of those were duplicates. Uh, at the time when I was on Glenstore Dunlop, we had 224 on a waiting list. Again, there's some duplicates there, so it might be 325. <coughs> the answer, one of the answers I got from the province was that per capita, the city of Cornwall had more beds than a lot of other communities uh, on a percentage basis. And uh, before we got more beds, uh, there are other communities that would be getting beds well before us. I don't buy that. So 
So I will support this. I think we need to go forward with it. I, I, we can't be stopped by the province because I recognize with the petition and with the, the names that I've got on it that there is a problem. I met with a lot of groups and I wish the coalition had been around at that time to support what I was doing. However, I will support the coalition this time. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. If, uh, in reading the, uh, the motion, uh, I guess the longer the coalition is asking for is uh, Mr. Help for a local task force. And we support that, and it's up to them to say yay or nay. So I think that's uh, unanimously supporting this would give a message that we would like going. So I would support this 100%. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. And the General Hospital had a lot of uh, has a lot of passion in me as a former police officer. I worked with the nurses, with uh, with uh, all the people employed there. I've seen miracles happen there. I've seen people rescued. I've seen everything. So Saturday night I was sitting down watching TV, and the conscience got a hold of me. So I said, Samson, what are you going to do about that? So I got on the computer at 12.45 a.m. Good morning, Honorable Minister Matthew. The city of Cornwall has a waiting list of over 200 seniors that are waiting for long-term care beds. As a city councilor, I feel a responsibility to inform you of what we require. Now, I was of the opinion, I spoke with Jamie Cameron, and he told me it would sell by February 25th. Please advise me of what your plan is for our seniors. Being we have a vacant hospital that would be selling for over $2 million. Will you please assure me that this money will be used for long-term care beds so our seniors will have the access they require for future medical service in their golden years? Thanking you for your anticipated response and cooperation for our seniors who paid for this hospital. Respectfully, your counselor, Geraldine Sampson. I received an email today from the Honorable Met, uh, Minister's Office, Matthews. Thank you for emailing Deb at her constituency office. As this issue falls under Deb's responsibility in her role as Minister of Health, in long-term care, I forward your email to her ministry's office at Queen's Park. Um, please be advised if you require any, any further follow-up to contact me, uh, Cecil Brock, sincerely. So I took my own initiative because I didn't have a copy of this motion until tonight. So I hope, I, I know in baseball you had to cover all the bases. And if they do sell it on February 25th, and they put $2 million, I'm hoping that it'll be the short for long-term care, whether it be at that building, the Water Street Arena, or some other big building that has to be built. So I took the initiative on my own behalf. I don't know if I stepped out of the line, but I feel I had a responsibility to the people of my city. Thank you. And uh, I'd like to commend the, um, the citizens group for getting together and uh, taking with great commitment um, what they feel is the needs of the city and uh, support. We should uh, ask for this um, consultation with higher levels of government, with the provincial people who, who will own the building or who control health care in the area. And um, I guess I would like them not to just give us a yay or nay, as some councillors have said, but I would like them to give us a needs assessment. Like we hear various figures, like we've got 10 year waiting list and we've got 10,000 people on the waiting list. I hope that when they respond to us, and I think we should build this into your request, that we ask for a specific needs assessment. And especially since I've heard the same figures that Councillor Gardner mentioned, that we have a higher than uh, <coughs> average percentage of long-term care beds for the population, that that actually be verified and established, you know, because um, I think that um, 
information is absolutely key to making any decisions, and um, we would like the, the information from the part of the province where they want our continued support. I'm heartened by the fact that we do the same Minister of Health that we had before today, so um, Councillor Samson's letter will go astray, and we'll have some continuity on this file, but we will certainly would like more clarity and information. Thank you. That night, a couple of weeks ago, in the hospital made their presentation. They basically told us we're in the business of acute health care, and we can't hang on to that um, Second Street site as an asset because it just doesn't fit into our acute care budget. But um, as I said that night, the Second Street site is more than just an asset for people. It's um, it's a place that represented health care for a long time in this community, a place where people got competent, caring health care. And so it's more than bricks and mortar. And it's more than just its great strategic location within the city. It's more than all of that. So to me, when people get together and get organized and say, we want to talk to the minister and we want to sit down and do that in an organized fashion, it's a good thing. So I support this. We should um, support them in terms of voicing their concerns in the way that they have so far to the ministry. Well, I, I join with all my colleagues in supporting the motion. Um, my own reservation in part was expressed in my last comments by Councilor Tremont. Indeed, the local general hospital reminds me of the debate that has developed for the community for a long time, uh, some 10 or so years ago, when the decision was made to consolidate the both hospitals into one part of the community hospital, and the site being the site and presently known to use the community hospital, formerly the Hotel Duke Hospital. And, uh, but I'm pleased uh, to see that the coalition of the Council of Vets Motion also stipulates a a time frame that I think is reasonable uh, because I think that asset, whatever it might represent to the Palm Community Hospital, uh, should play an important part in the continuing development uh, so far as the Palm Community Hospital, whether it's in the area of, of equipment or other related services. Uh, but that will be for a, a later date, possibly. And I, I join with all of you and the people of the coalition putting this request forward to, to the Minister of Health. Uh, the, the renewed and the Minister of Honorable uh, Deb Matthews. So now I'll turn the word back to Councillor Deb for a final. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Again, uh, I'm sure that if some of the information like Elaine was looking for, Councillor McDonald was looking for, I'm sure this task force is going to bring them together with the Ministry. I think the ministry, it's, what's important is to get the ministry, uh, uh, have a representative down here making it happen. And I think, Mr. in 1998, I sat on the board of the video, Hotel New Hospital, when this, all this stuff was going on. And I think at that time, if they'd have a task force, they might have found out other things, and maybe they wouldn't have went both places, and they would have had so much of a feedback. I think, I'm, I'm sure that the, the residents of the community and the, and the coalition are very happy to hear Council's comments tonight, and, and I want to thank you all very much. I think sending the right message out there. Thank you. All in favor? Thank you, uh, Chair. And I'll ask the Chair to see the Chair second to my motion. I'll ask the Chair to see the Whereas Councillor Dimmel recently made a motion to direct administration to invite a representative from the Ministry of Long Term Care to speak about the availability of long term beds in Cornwall area. Whereas Council recognizes the benefits of a collaborative model in addressing the needs for a senior population in regards to social determinants of health that will address solutions beyond the option of long term care. Whereas Council is committed to ensuring a holistic approach to addressing the needs of its community now and in the future with reflects this progressive vision of Cornwall. 
whereas the province is committed to a senior strategy and demonstrated within the Ontario Action Plan for Health, January 2012, the Ontario Senior Care Strategy, May 2012, and more recently, Living Together, Living Well, authored by Dr. Sammy Sinner, identifying five principles for a senior strategy, namely access, equity, choice, value, and quality. Whereas Council believes that the alignment with the identified senior strategy will require collaborative support from the Ministry of Municipal Affairs and Housing, the Champlain LHIM, the Ministry of Health and Long-Term Care, the Ministry of Community and Social Services, and possibly other ministries to address areas such as assisted living in support of housing, now therefore be it resolved. The Council supports the initiation of a collaborative working group consisting of key partners who, using a holistic community model of wellness, will develop and provide a comprehensive vision that will reflect the main Cornwall solution the need to meet the needs of our seniors by supporting the development of an elder-friendly community now and for in the future as a strategic priority. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Mayor, uh, Acting Mayor, and uh, thank you, my seconder, for the uh, for support. Um, as I communicated with all of you earlier today, but just to put it back on, on the record again, uh, this motion, as, uh, as was read, uh, was not uh, drafted with any sense of contradiction to the motion originally put forward by a colleague by Council of that nor should it be interpreted as being contrary to anything the coalition has put forward through the motion tabled by Council of second by Council of Bell. And so, but I see it as an opportunity for the community through us uh, to empower the community to become engaged, to take some positive uh, action, to be proactive in studying, identifying, and finding courses of action and, and, and looking for potential funding to address the areas of concern that will be identified uh, through this collaborative effort. Uh, it's a process uh, that will, of course, last much longer than the one put forward by our colleague a few moments ago. Uh, but we have a wonderful I believe the spirit of solidarity around this table when it comes to, as we indicated in that previous vote taken, when it comes to seniors in our community and everything that impacts them. But we also have a wealth of resource in our administration, whether it's in persons like Mr. Lovac, Mr. Kenville, Mr. Johnson, Ms. Daigle, and many others assist us in this in this effort. So I table this with you for your consideration. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, I want, well, I, I understand what you, you want to do. You want to continue on doing some dialogue and everything else. But I want to make sure you understand this correctly. This has got nothing to do with the motion we just passed endorsing the, the uh, so I think that maybe this is a, a, something maybe we should wait till we get response back to the Ministry of, of Health. Once they form, if they decide to form the, ta the task force, then it's great, and you're right, a lot of people that you're mentioning are, are great assets, and, and that's the kind of people I would presume that the Ministry of Health is going to want part of this task force. So, you know, as long as it's not interfering with the initial motion, but if you want to run it now by council, that's fine. I have no problem with that. But I want to make sure that anything to do to, to increase and, and, and work on our long-term funding for any health care that we have, the issues we have in our community is, is a great initiative. But I just want to make sure that the, the motion that was passed, will that letter will go out tomorrow to the Minister of, of Health requesting the task force to set up. No delay in that letter going out to the I have no problem supporting this, Mr. Mayor. I just want to give you consideration that are we, are we left to eat heart before the horse here? Maybe once we get the task force in place, well, uh, really this, this stuff will be able to go. Well, if I can, uh, Councillor and I think that uh, to you to Councillor and that, uh, no, this is not intended in any way uh, to take anything away from the motion passed earlier under mm -hmm. your signature. Uh, but I think. Uh, this one, the uh, mine, of course, uh, that I'm tabling with you for your consideration, is obviously going to take much longer than the 60 days. 
And so I think they can, I think this, if it's supported by council, we can begin to sort of put some pieces together uh, without interfering, I would submit to you, uh, with the original motion table and passed away. Because I, I know Council Claremont had some, maybe some little bit of spoilers, so I'm hoping we, oh. we use too much, you know, some in a little bit. I hope we use it on the, on the first initiative and not. This was. This does not require. Oh. Again, again, exactly. This does not require uh, the involvement. And I say this respectfully to the minister of health. This does not require her her participation, her endorsement in any way, shape, or form. This is Cornwall initiative. initiative, looking for solutions around this table and in our community. So there's only one letter going to the minister. Oh, yeah, Oh, I think you can confirm me on That's fine. Okay. I understand. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I think uh, I second the motion, Mr. Mayor, to Mr. Mayor, because it's a long-term solution, and that's what we do. We've been planning for four or five years down the road, and this is going to take time. I very quickly put up my hand when I read a formal solution to the police, senior by supporting the development of elderly friendly community now in the future. The future is the key word. This is long term. This, this is what we have to work on. It's not a short term solution like the general that Joe has to be taken care of now. Uh, we need to plan for the future because our community is getting older fast. Councillor Sensen. Thank you, Ms. Factory Mayor. <coughs> I, I just want to put a note out of caution. I'm in favor of uh, your presentation, Mr. Mayor. However, I just want to put a caution out to, to this council that uh, maybe Mr. Levac can inquire with Cameron, who's selling the property down there, that the deadline is indeed February 27th. Maybe you can reiterate what has gone on tonight. Excuse me, Councilor, that has nothing to do with this motion. Well, it's a caution. Well, it's talking about different issues let, in the hospital. Let's so, use our head. No, that has nothing to do with it. You know, so there's a the motion there. itself. Well, it's related. Thank you, I rise in support of this motion. I appreciate the fact that it's an extremely comprehensive and long range. And, uh, you know, we often uh, reflect on the fact that we have higher than average. Sorry, sorry. And I think sometimes that's just happened by accident. So this would um, lead us to do some planning around what may be just a happy accident, but at least let's, let's put some planning in place and make sure that uh, this can even go as far as our economic development department, that we actually plan. We do tend to market ourselves as a senior friendly community, and this will give us tools to be able to do that in a comprehensive way and I, I like to use the word holistic in that motion as well because that's the sort of vision I see here. Thank you. Uh, uh, Councilor Carter. Thank you, Mr. Acting Mayor. <clears throat> uh, during the budget process we know that we, we deal with seniors groups within the community and um, there's more than one and you represent a whole bunch of seniors in our communities. Excuse me. And uh, I would hope that uh, at least representatives from that organization, those organizations, can be part of this process because uh, they know the problems that uh, exist in our community, the challenges for seniors. But I have no problems uh, supporting this motion. I think it's a good motion. There's a lot of work to be done, and uh, uh, I, before they're selected, I would uh, uh, say that we've got a lot of debt of gratitude to those volunteers that I mentioned in these various organizations. So, it's a good motion. We don't have a seniors committee. The way we have a youth committee or a senior focus committee. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. So when I when I read this, I thought of that. Um, I think it's more focus on using our city resources, and we have tremendous expertise in Mrs. Dago and Mr. Kimbin and. So moving and sort of building on that, establishing a committee that could be on a long-term basis, the way we have a youth committee, um, the way we have an environmental committee, we would have a committee that takes a look at seniors' issues so that we um, work at you know, a community that 
that, that takes care of all these people. So I see it in that sense. If there are no other questions. I just have one, Mr. Meredith, talking about the uh, key partners and uh, do you see this going through the lay appointments committee or, or how to select these uh, partners? How I, I see the words here, but I don't know. Uh, uh, so I'll, I'll, this is something that I will consult uh, very closely with all the council uh, in terms of how we strike this committee and some of some the identifying the stakeholders that are to take an active part in this. So I'd like to sit down with our own administration and then bring back our report to council in terms of the recommendation. All right, thank you. All in favor of the motion? Opposed? Carried. Thank you. Thank you very much.